Today we're here at the Debnar farm. I'm with Ashley and these are her horses. Ashley, what's the task for today? Well, I need to divide this pasture. They've pretty much trampled that half where the gate is. They always want to go back in the barn when they're out of food. And this half over here is still pretty solid, but I'm out of pasture. All right. So we're going to show you how to use some products with a, a tape model of fence to divide this paddock into two so that we can give the heavy use area a break. I think even today we're going to reseed and do some covering with yep. some mulch hay and they'll still make use of this half of the paddock with hay feeding and that animal impact will get spread out a little bit more. So why do we want to do this now versus waiting until the grass is already growing, giving them something to eat? We're going to give this a total break and let that seed come up. We're going to let the grasses pop up without being trampled or nibbled off so that that fresh energy that's coming up from roots in springtime isn't getting pruned or grazed off too early. And then this half will get the benefit of having manure and hay litter spread on it and we'll keep rotating as we go. And hopefully we can use less hay next winter. That's the goal. So in this paddock we're using mostly T-post with inch and a half safe fence electric tape. We're going to show you how we're going to transition this post to start our divider line right here. We're going to pop some of this off and Ashley will show you some of the accessories and products we're using to make that divider line. So I chose to use temporary step-in posts. Since this is a temporary operation, I don't want to be pounding T-posts in and having to pull them back out. So I chose to use the O'Brien step-in posts. I have pin lock insulators we're going to put on the T-post. I have tape to tape connectors that we're going to use to jump the electric from our perimeter to the interior division so that it stays electric and keeps these guys where they're supposed to be. So I will assemble the pin lock insulators before we slide them on the T-post. Our pin lock insulators have the two pins. One will hold it on the T-post and the other one is going to hold our tensioner in place where we'll put our fence through. So we'll just snap one of these off. Pop that pin down through there. And that is how we're gonna connect our tape to this post. We're gonna just use this as our tensioner and this will slide down over that post. So we need three of these. We're gonna run three strands. Right. So now we have to pop those insulators off since these slide down over the top of the T-post. So our energizer is turned off. We're going to go ahead and pop this tape and these top couple insulators off of here. We'll leave this bottom one on. That'll allow us to slide all of our insulators down on the T-post. Slide these down over the top. If your top of your T-post is mushroomed at all, you might have to wiggle and jiggle to get that down over there. So then we'll just pin these in place. So our first one we're gonna put right above this current bottom strand. And the way we'll do that is we'll pull this other pin off and put it right through that hole. That'll hold our insulator in place on the fence. Our next one, we're gonna go about halfway up the post and pin it in place. Then we're gonna take this one. It's gonna be right under where that top strand currently was. The step-ins are a little bit shorter than what our perimeter fence is. So we wanna keep that a little bit lower. Now that our division insulators are in place, we're gonna bring back the safe fence one strand at a time and reinstall the insulators that we took off. So that one looks a little low, so we're gonna bump it up above this insulator. I 
that's a little more in line. So now that we got the insulators installed on this post, we want to go to the other side of the pasture where our division is going to end and install the insulators over there so that whenever we run our tape, we can connect. So up here at the other end of the paddock division, we're going to go through the same process, popping off the tape, taking off the insulators so we can slide our T-post insulators down on. Same process, we're just going to use a different plate hardware so that we can connect our gates at this end. Same procedure here, we're just gonna pop the tape off, remove the insulators so that we can slide the new insulators on. So now we're ready to weave our tape through our tensioner. We're gonna do this one strand at a time because we are gonna to have to cut at the other end and we don't wanna waste any material. So Ashley's gonna show us how to weave through this tensioner buckle. All right, these buckles are really simple. They work just like an old fashioned belt buckle. So you're just gonna weave the tape through, back through the middle, and back out. And you wanna bring this tail back to the front so that it doesn't wrap around and touch your T-post and cause a short. Now we can pay out our tape to the other side of the paddock division. We're up here at the top where we need to terminate and install our gate. So we have to install a tensioner to connect our tape to the handle. We have a spring gate handle, so we just spiral this right onto the end. The easiest way to do this is hook your handle in your plate. That way you make sure you don't short yourself on enough tape to go through the tensioner. So you want to go about six inches past. Pull yourself some tension. And we'll repeat the same procedure that we did on the top on the next two lines. All right, we're ready to install our posts, so Eli's gonna install them up the line. The spacing's really depending on your context and the animals that you're fencing. I have a young horse here, so we're gonna keep those posts a little closer together than we would if you had some older horses that really respect the fence. So we're doing about every three steps, which for me is nine or 10 feet. We wanna put the tape and the clips on the side of the livestock 
leaving the main beam of the post on the opposing side. We're just going to step in. We might have to move around a rock here or there. So we'll start with the top strand. We'll just look back, make sure we don't have any twists, and slide it in our insulator clip. And do the same down the line for the others. All right, we're gonna add a little more tension to this top strand. The easiest way to do that is to unhook your handle. That way you have room to work. You just wanna pull that tape through there. And you can see we have some more spring sticking out. It gave us more tension on that line. All right, our last step is to connect our tape to tape connectors to transfer the energy from our perimeter fence to the division. These are real simple. They just slide on and you'll do this for each strand. I am putting this on the far side away from the horses so that they don't decide to play with it since there will be loose wire. We'll do the same procedure to connect our three interior division lines. Our paddock division is complete. We'll go ahead and turn the energizer back on and put electricity back in the system while we hop on the other side and spread some seed around and scatter some mulch. Egg. For more fencing tips and expert advice, call 1-800-KENCO or visit kencove.com.